Hey guys, guys it's, it's the Reading Ramblers. So today we are going to be doing the coffee book tag, which we believe is created by Paper Fury, and we don't know if the person has a YouTube, but if we find it, we'll link, link it down it. below. But we'll just link their blog for now. So let's get started. So the first one is Black. Name a series that is tough to get into but has hardcore fans. So we picked the Game of Thrones series. We haven't read this one and we don't have it, but we're not really into that, the Game of Thrones, so we just thought people who are. Yeah. It, so the second one is Peppermint Mocha. Name a book that gets more popular during the winter or a festive time of year. And we both decided on A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is my school book. Yeah. So number three is Hot Chocolate. What is your favourite children's book? Mine is The Tales of something <laughs> by Beatrix Potter. So I have this one. Potter. Sure, sure, I said Potter. I know you said this one. Potter before. And that one. Mine is by J.M. Barry and it's Peter Pan. So the next question is Double Shot of Espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. Mine is An Inspector Calls by J.B. Presley. I'm just hiding my hands here because that has my full name on. Yeah. So mine is Gone by Michael Grant. As she mentions in every video. Number five is Name a book that you... Th I forgot to name the song. So number five is Starbucks. Name a book that you see everywhere. For this, I chose The Bronze Horseman by Pauline Sim Simmons, I think. I don't know much about this, but I have seen a book utopia rave about this, so yeah. For this, I chose Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, or Rowell or something. So yeah, I've heard a lot of people rave about this. It's in Survivor's Book Club. And yeah, I really want to read it. And get it at some point. <laughs> Number six is That Hipster Coffee Shop. Give a book by an indie author a shout out. So we don't really know any indie authors. Well, we can't think of any at so, this precise moment. Yeah, we're just going to skip get that question. Whoosh! Number seven. Oops, I accidentally got decaf. Name a book that you're expecting more from. Mine is Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl, but we've been filming all day and I've lost it in the bookshelf, so. Um, mine was Mr. Gum because I think there's too many plot holes in there and it just didn't really I haven't read it yet. appeal to me. Number eight, The Perfect Blend. Name a book or series that was bittersweet but ultimately satisfying. We don't have one for this as we couldn't think of one for the top of our, off the top of our heads. Mm. One. Number nine. Green tea. Name a book or series that was quite quietly beautiful. We picked the Harry Potter series, but as we can't be bothered or don't have the energy to lift up all of the books, we just picked up the, the last, last one. The Deathly, Deathly Hallows by JK Rowling. Rowling. Oh, Rowling. Oh. Number ten. Chai tea. Name a book or series that makes you dream of far off places. And we chose the Narnia, Narnia series. series. Number 11, Earl Grey. Name your favourite classic. Mine is Oliver Twist by the mini Ladybird classic. Mine is The Wizard of Oz by Tuffin classic. So, so if you, you haven't done, done this tag already, we tag you. you. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, to share us and support. Comment any book suggestions or video ideas that you want us to do. And subscribe because it's free. We love, love you lots and lots and we'll see you in our next video. video. Bye! Bye guys.